Hello and thank you for watching. We'll start off by saying be very delicate when removing or handling these iPad parts. If it's not coming off easily, don't force it as it will rip the ribbon cables causing a whole different set of problems. There are three sections where you need to insert your tool and remove the double-sided tape. Slide your removal tool under the two tiny double-sided tapes to unglue them from the iPad body. This is the actual uh, bracket that holds the button in place. Next, unhook the ribbon cable by lifting a tiny plastic holder on the connector. Yes, it's tiny and fragile. Now, slide the removal tool under the double-sided tape holding the ribbon cable, right above the plastic connector. Be gentle and it should unglue. And next, we'll remove the actual button from the screen. Gently use your removal tool around the button. Um, I found it easy to flip the screen up and actually force the button in as if you're pressing it. And it usually pops right out. Be gentle as it's very fragile. The reinstall is reverse of removal. Place the button in the location, use a very tiny double-sided tape on the edges of the holder and the cable. You can try reinstalling it without replacing the double-sided tape. Um, after you place the button in its location, insert the ribbon tape into the connector and flip the tiny plastic tab to hold it in place. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.